Nathan Judo, I'm here with Wolves reporter Tim Spears. Tim, Millwall 2, Wolverhampton Wanderers 2. How do you feel? Point, point gained or, or two points lost? I feel like I'm wearing a turban. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, it's, Scrooge. It's too, these are tiny. Well, what do you get? What do you get for two quid? Oh, right. <laughs> two pounds, two pounds, <laughs> not the same all on you. What do you want? To be fair, we've done, we've done worse in a video recently. Done, done a lot I feel, worse. I feel, positive, I feel positively sophisticated wearing this compared to the old... Uh, Hello, everybody. OK, no, let's start. No, no. Let's not start again. No, no, no. 2-2 um, two, two draw. How do you feel? It's kind of a strange feeling at the end. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Oh, it was, it was a very enjoyable uh, game to watch. Just saying downstairs, it's probably, probably the best game uh, since Bristol City at home, the 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. It was a cracking game of football. I think Wolves have done really well to get a point here today. Honestly, you could tell from the off, Millwall, Millwall was so up for it for a start. Yeah. Um, and they were bombing it forward on the counter. George Savile was a man possessed. It was ridiculous. Because, you know, not only was he was he sticking his, his foot in left, mm. right, centre, mm. but he was mouthing off at everybody. Yeah. yeah. Little pushes and shoves, like pointing at all the Wolves players. And that kind of epitomised Millwall's approach and the crowd as well. It's really intimidating place to play. Like uh, Mill, Mill, all of Mill's points mm. have come from here. They haven't won a game away from home, but they're doing okay this season because yeah. of their home form. So to come in at 1 pm on Boxing Day, to lose two key players to injury, mm. and, and to go behind, and normally when they go behind this season, they lose. Yeah. Because they all score first. Mm -hmm. uh, and to come away the point, I think it's a really good result. Well, I'm just saying that, you know, it was almost when they went 1 0 down, it was almost like, oh well, let's see what you made up here, Wolves. It was almost a good test for the Washington. Yeah, it? we haven't had that for a little while, uh, and certainly the physical approach that Millwall took. Mm. I mean, didn't, didn't catch Wolves by surprise at all because they'd have been prepared for it, but they, it took a while for them to, to get a foothold in the yeah. game, and I thought they were lucky to be only what uh, to be. Lucky not to be 2-0 down mm -hmm. at half-time, really, let alone 1-0. Mm -hmm. They did great to get in 1-0 at half-time. You know, Mill were the better team in the first half. And really troubled Wolves from set pieces, which yes. is kind of reared its ugly head again. Yes. And Nuno's brought it up downstairs now as well, saying we've got to do better. And like I said, with the injuries as well, and Jota being way off his game. I know he scored from six yards, but other than that, he's just not mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's, it's a good point. Good and look, point. that first goal that Millwall scored, beautiful pass and a, and a fantastic finish. Sometimes you've got to hold your hands yeah. up, it's perfect. Yeah, Jed Wallace, who's um, become the player that you know we all kind of... Um, that he threatened to become, only in very small patches, really, at Wolves. He, need, he always said in interviews he needed a run of games, and he's got that here, and he's playing very, very well. And, yeah, so he broke... 60 yards really upfield. Beautiful pass. And perfect pass for Gregory for 1-0. Do you think he got his chance at Wolves? Or no, do you think, no, bit, bit, or do you think it was a little bit to blame no, himself? No, he didn't, but there were a lot of circumstances involved in that. Particularly injuries were a part of it, and then and then obviously uh, Fosin came in and, and they bought Costa sure. and Cavalera and others, so he didn't really... He always said he needed that, because he got injured as soon as he got to Wolves, he needed that 10 runner games, and mm. then you'd see who he really was. So we, I don't think we ever saw who Jed mm. Wallace was, but uh, you know, fair play to him. And Savile as well, they're both doing really well. Uh, obviously, Wolves, you know, massively moved on now, and they had a really, really tough test today. Really tough test. But like I said, they got back in the game. Jota not his best, but delighted to see Helder Costa come back. Two important assists today, and he's not he's not 100 percent yet, but he's getting towards. Not 100 percent. I don't think he could do 90 minutes because it, it took him off after 80 and went 3-5-2 with a Jai. But it's the it's his best performance of the season. Mm -hmm. um, even before he got involved with a couple of assists, I thought he looked lively. Uh, his movement was great, he was linking well with Doherty as well yeah. down at the right hand side and yeah so he started three games so far, Villa and Burton away, mm -hmm. he, looked, he looked good at Burton to be fair but he's not started since Villa which was mid of October, I thought he did really well today yeah. um, with Cavalero going off with what looked like not the greatest of injuries although yeah. Nuno says nothing too serious um, but I'd say him and Bolly are definitely both a day out for Bristol City just yeah, of course. only a yeah, few days away yeah. so um, but even if even if Cavalier's fit or not I'd start Costa yeah he did really well right on the struggle half time and then they took control of the game they had, they had a really good 15-20 minutes got ahead I mean when, when the ball fell to say well, I, know, I know what you were saying uh, you were saying don't hit it that was good that's Wait. You were like, I had the I had the pleasure of not sitting next to Judah today for the first time. Good friend of the Express and Star Jimbo Fielding was sat in between us. Oh, Mr. Uh, but <laughs> didn't like it. But uh, I was imploring Sace not to shoot, as I as I tend to do, don't I? Because yeah. Because whenever he gets a ball from 30 yards out, he, he balloons it into the stand. Yeah. Like Unjai, by the way. Worst shot of the season tonight. Oh, I missed that. Uh, so, so the keeper flails it across. It comes out to Unjai 20 yards out. Yeah. The keeper's struggling to get back on his line. 
on John, he puts it in the top tier. Oh, it's a decent so, effort. <laughs> top bin. Incredible, incredibly bad. Yeah. And Sace, anyway, he's terrible at shooting from 30 yards. It's so horrendous. So you're like, no. And then he <laughs> Don't do it. Because he sticks it in the corner. Uh, fantastic strike. His third goal of the season. Yeah. And you thought Wolves were going to go on there. Best. And then, so Nuno's big thing is control. Mm. Control oh, the game, right. control possession, nullify the opposition. Wolves did that an awful lot, but they didn't do it at all until they got their second goal, and then they had 10 minutes where nothing happened. It was very much a proper frantic game yes. today. Loads yes. of challenges, loads of tackles, loads of incidents, four goals. Dead 10 minutes. Great game, and that was, that was, that was Wolves. That was the 10 minutes where it was dull, and they were controlling it, and then Bolly went off, injured, and it seemed to shake them, and then Millwall had a couple of set pieces in a row, and off the second they get the equaliser. Mm, Miranda, no came, Miranda came on, and uh, well, Connor Cody got sent off for it. I mean, goodness me. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, well, Miranda's, Miranda's coming, Carl. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, it's unbelievable. Mikey Burrows again. Just comes in behind us. We're in a full flow. We're six, six or seven minutes in. Does he not realise how professional we are? It's incredible scenes. I'm getting nervous. If you're now. that professional, you'd have carried on going. Wow, was It's incredible. <sighs> Are you drunk? I haven't done anything. <laughs> there are some pronies in the press box. I think he's been on them. Anyway, uh, we're going to probably finish quite rapidly. Yeah, so what absolutely. was I saying? Free the expression star too. No, there's <laughs> there's more going on. There's more going on. There's more going on. No, don't. What's he doing? Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. What, what was he saying? We're talking, talking about Willie Bolling when he went off and Miranda came so, on. Well, and, so uh, Wolves have conceded three. You're saying You were saying Nuna, but Nuna should have brought Danny Bart on, is well, what you were saying? No, uh, no, no, I don't because um, Danny Bart plays as the, as the right of the three centre half. So Miranda's the like for like on the left. Mm. No, I think Courtney Hawes has got a good shout coming in, perhaps, since he plays a volley. Courtney Hawes sat in the stands today with Morgan Gibbs-White. I don't know, Miranda just looks like he's got a rick in him to me. Yeah, and he does, yeah. It wasn't his fault for the goal, by the way, but it, he heaps pressure on Wolves mm -hmm. with his really bad first touch, as you were saying there, and I think Millwall uh, attacks from that. Anyway, Wolves conceded three goals in ten volley appearances. <laughs> Four minutes after he goes off, yeah. he conceded another. So he's very important, not just... I don't know what he's doing, but he's probably focusing on in, on, in and out, I reckon. Okay, well, we're nearly done here. Mm. So, so let's, let's, let's talk about well, okay, well, let's talk about the two injuries then, Cavalera and yeah. Bolly. What, what's the latest? What's Nuno had to say? He, he said that he said they're not too serious. Um, I mean, Bolly's just walking around down by the change rooms there. Well, that's good news. He's not limping. What was that then? So, so, hammy or yeah, hamstring, cramp? which 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 was the issue a few weeks ago, and he missed missed a couple of months. Mm -hmm. So fingers crossed that's okay. Cavalera, I didn't actually see the challenge, but he, he was kind of I think blocked off uh, right at the end of the first half. He was actually on the floor when the goal was scored, yeah, it was, and yeah. then uh, that was right the strike at half time, so we didn't see him again. But good point, and going to Bristol City now, I guess, will you take a point there as well? Yes. Yes. Very much so. Yeah. Uh, you're looking at two of the toughest away games in the league here, mm -hmm. in the space of a week, in the middle of a really hectic schedule. So they've come through this unscathed in terms of results. Let's hope that's the case in terms mm -hmm. of injuries as well. And you take a point from Bristol City all day long. Was, their lead's huge. I was going to say they can afford it. Absolutely, and there's plenty more teams that are not going to get, get um, many points coming here. No, and no, exactly. And they've, they've beaten a couple of top teams here. So to keep the unbeaten run going, that's ten games unbeaten now. Mm -hmm. If you can stretch that to another two, then they're in a fantastic position in the new year. Wolves two, Millwall two. For all the post-match reaction, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com. <laughs>